This is H Town Boba here with my good friend Stephen Wang, who is a master connoisseur of boba tea. Stephen, can I ask you a few questions today? Sure, why not? So my first question is, why do you think boba tea is so popular? Well, it's funny you say boba tea because actually normally I call it bubble tea. Um, I've always grown up like when I was growing up, uh, I just normally called it bubble tea. Um, but in Chinese, yeah, I do often say boba nai cha. Um, but in any case. Um, I think it's well. The first reason why it's very popular is it's it's just really delicious and it's very filling and it's a good snack. Um, but also besides that, it's very delicious. Um, it's a good thing to drink with people when you just want to get together and relax and have fun. You just want to have something that tastes good, and especially if you're underage, you're not supposed to be drinking yet. So um, you can just go to a bubble tea place and and relax and drink some bubble tea. Is that the reason why you drink bubble tea personally? Personally, um, the main reason why I originally started drinking it was because it was just really good. Um, but you know, when you're growing up, also when you discover a new thing, a lot of times you think it's really cool, and that probably added right. to it. But definitely, it's really delicious, and that's why I continue always drinking it. Um, but a lot of times when I drink it, I do go hang out with friends and, and drink bubble tea. So, what's your favorite drink? What's my favorite drink? Um, so I can't really give. A one, like a single straight answer for which one bubble tea drink is my favorite, um, but I can name a few and sure. yeah, and definitely the original just normal milk tea with pearls bubble tea is, is very delicious. Um, jasmine milk tea is also a good variation. Um, it's very similar, but it's a little bit different. Uh, but besides those, I, I really like Thai tea. Um, and why is that? Why is that? I think. The flavor is maybe a little sweeter, but also a little stronger, and I enjoyed that. Um, but there is, uh, but at home, uh, there's this place near my house called Fast Draws, and they make an excellent Thai tea milkshake. And that's wow. not just milk tea per se, but it's it's really good. Um, but there's another place around town um, at Boba Latte. They make uh, they make the Hong Kong milk tea, and I really enjoy that one as well. Do you um, always get regular boba, or do you try other sinkers as well? Um, you mean like the tapioca? Yes. Uh, normally, I just I just get tapioca pearls. So tapioca is your favorite sinker? Yeah, I guess so. But I mean, at tea house here, I've gotten uh, pudding instead. But and sometimes uh, having like the the clear jellies in your bubble tea is, is pretty good too. But yeah. normally, I just get tapioca, or sometimes none at all. If I want to try to be a little healthier, but Definitely tapioca is delicious. Right. Yeah. So as a as a bubble connoisseur, you must have tried many bubble stores in Houston. What's your favorite one? Well, unfortunately, I didn't get to try that many until I had my car here um, when I was living off campus last year. Um, but um, well, the obvious ones that Houston people start with are like Tea House. I mean, especially if you're from Rice. I think Tea House is okay, but I don't think it's super delicious. Although certainly, I think they do have some drinks that might might be pretty good um, but I think tea house is a little too sweet um, usually and I would prefer a lot of the the bubble tea places in Chinatown like um, like my favorite would be Star Snow Ice um, they just make really delicious bubble tea and it's very it's it's probably more authentic it's more Taiwanese and it's just really good the, the tapioca is always on the spot and the milk tea is mixed well, but another place I'd also recommend would be Cafe La Tea. Um, they don't, I don't think they have tapioca, but their milk tea is well made usually, I think. Cool. Um, what's the, where have you gotten the best bubble tea in the whole world? The best bubble tea in the whole world? Um, so far. So it's hard to remember how things taste after several years or like after a long time. But I think because Taiwan is the birthplace of bubble tea, um, the best bubble tea I've had has been in Taiwan. Um, actually, I went to this place that claimed to have invented bubble tea, and their bubble tea was just delicious. Um, but generally, a lot of places in Taiwan are really good, and I think I, I remember in California, their bubble tea is generally consistently good as well. Although, at home too, there are a few places I really enjoy, but I think you just have to say Taiwan. Awesome. Yeah. What flavors would you recommend for people that haven't really had bubble tea very much? 
People that haven't had bubble tea very much. Um, I think if you're unfamiliar with bubble tea, actually, um, I mean, it depends on on your taste, I guess. Um, because if you don't like tea, um, you might not like a certain strong tea flavored bubble teas. I think Hong Kong milk tea has a particularly strong tea flavor, even though if you really appreciate that, um, I mean, it has that strong tea flavor, but it has milk as well. But if you don't really like tea that much, it might be hard to like, especially at first. So go for something more like Thai tea or maybe even the Thai tea milkshake I talked about earlier, just because um, it's creamy and it's, it's more familiar for people, even though I guess advanced people like me might also enjoy it. So, like, pretend I'm some newbie and I'm not, I don't seem very interested in bubble tea. It's just yeah. milk and tea and little black balls. Like, what's so cool about it? Why should I try it? Um, well, I would say, like, if you've never tried it before, why not give it a try? Because, I mean, when you first hear about it, it might just seem like a strange mix, but actually the, t the combination turns out to be really good. Um, I really like milk tea and tapioca adds a really good touch to it. Um, I mean, I mean, you can think of it as like a surprise on the bottom of your cup. Um, but yeah, I mean, just because you don't, you, know, you might not like tea, I think you should still give it a try. And milk tea is a wonderful blend. Cool. Yeah. When you go to a new boba store, do you usually order the milk tea first? Um, you mean like the the normal one? Yes, or? the normal milk tea. I guess it depends on my mood, but a lot of times, um, yeah, I, I'd like to try out the normal one. Um, but if they have something interesting that I also really like, I might try out one of those. Um, like if I find more places that have what they call as Hong Kong multi, I might start with that. But definitely, yeah, yeah I think a lot of times I do try the normal one. Is there a sp specific criteria that you, you know, judged these milk tea on, like powderiness or, you know, boba quality? Yeah, definitely, I think... Um, powderiness is a big factor. Um, you can definitely taste it in some uh, some drinks, and the really good places you you don't really have any of that. Um, but um, also the milk tea, like I guess the flavor of that, like I was saying earlier, Hong Kong milk tea is, is similar to just the normal milk tea, but somehow the the flavor is stronger and, and better in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the, the tapioca as well. Uh, it's a bit like it, it does vary from place to place and sometimes some place some places that sell bubble tea aren't consistent um, so the really good places generally always have good tapioca um, and that's determined by like how chewy it is like you can when once you drink a lot of bubble tea you can kind of tell what's undercooked and what's overcooked and uh, sometimes it'll be too hard and not very chewy or sometimes um, it'll be like just I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Soggy. Yeah, soggy. And that's... I mean, it's, it's okay, but the really good place, you don't have to deal with any of that. And it's just straight right. up goodness. Well, thanks for your time, Stephen. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> this was a very informative interview. Awesome. This was H-Town Boba, signing out. Thanks for stopping by.